Hello, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Emma. Today's video, as you can probably tell from the title and from the thumbnail, is going to be a favourites video. I haven't filmed a favourites video in what feels like forever. I think the last one I uploaded was back in July, so it's been a while. But I just felt like sitting down and chatting you through my favourite things. I don't necessarily always have enough products to do one every month, but I do like to do favourites videos every now and then and just show you what I've been loving all in one video. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get on into the favourites and I'm gonna start off with beauty products. The first thing that I wanna mention is actually a shampoo and this is the Purology Hydrate Shampoo for dry coloured treated hair. Last year, I started getting my hair bleached a little bit lighter and obviously with bleaching your hair, it does dry out your hair and I have quite dry hair anyway. So I picked up this to use because it is meant to be really good for colour treated hair, it doesn't like strip the colour out of your hair at all but it also is very very hydrating on the hair which I really really love. So yeah I have been loving this, I feel like it just works really really nicely with my hair, my hair really seems to respond nicely to it um, and it's keeping my hair nice and healthy looking and considering my hair is bleached I feel like my hair feels pretty good for it being bleached. I do tend to only wash my hair once a week and I will do two lots of shampoo so I will go in like once and do like a wash all the oils and dirt out my hair and then I do a second wash and I really really like it. This is a little bit more on the expensive side I will say. I tend to buy the shampoo and conditioner of Look Fantastic though and they do a bundle where if you buy both of them you get it a little bit cheaper but yeah I'm really really loving this one this shampoo it is like I say a little bit of an investment but I think it's definitely worth it I've definitely seen a difference with my hair yeah I think this is about my third or fourth bottle now I'm just really, really liking it it lathers up really nicely and yeah I just think it's a really really good shampoo and I feel like you're getting what you pay for with this shampoo but yeah I really really like the shampoo and I would recommend if you do have color treated hair and it feels a little bit dry especially on the ends because this is just really really nice to use yeah really really love this okay and then the next thing I'm going to mention is a skincare product and and this is the Caudalie Vino Perfect Radiant Serum Complexion Correcting. Just looks like this. As you can see, I'm almost out and I am going to have to purchase a new bottle. I got this for Christmas and I've been using it pretty consistently nearly every night since I'd say about mid-January, I would say. And I am really, really loving it. I'd seen a few people talk about it and I've been umming and ahhing about investing in it. And then I thought, I'll pop it on my Christmas list and I've become absolutely obsessed. This is quite expensive it's 50 pounds a bottle but i have to say i have seen a vast improvement in my skin it's almost in a way that i don't know if other people will be able to tell so far because like i said i've only been using it for about a month and a half but i feel like it is helping reduce my redness i feel like it definitely gives an instant reduction in redness as well so you can use this in the morning i tend to just use it in the evenings because i use a vitamin c serum in the morning so i feel like i don't want to go in with two different serums but i feel like this is working really, really nicely helping reduce my redness just helping like my skin texture overall i mean i do still get breakouts especially around like my time of the month but i feel like this is just really helping the appearance of my skin overall and i did turn 31 earlier this month my skin is starting to show some signs of aging like you might not be able to tell on camera but i can definitely tell in the mirror and i feel like this is really really helping it's just a really nice serum it does have a little bit of a like a herbal scent to it which i wasn't really sure on at first because my skin doesn't always re react well to scents it is quite sensitive my skin but this works really, really nicely. I feel like it's really nice and hydrating. It doesn't irritate my skin in any way. It is an investment, but I feel like it's worth it. I can just see a difference in my skin. Yeah, I'm just really liking it. It's just like my overall type, like skin texture, my radiance of my skin. I feel like my skin looks a bit smoother. And yeah, I'm just really, really loving this. I do get quite bad redness like in these lines here. And I feel like it is helping over time. Obviously, it's going to take a little bit more use because I mean, they've been there for years. They're not going to just go away in a month and a half, but I've definitely feel like this is helping my skin so i definitely am gonna repurchase another bottle i've not really ever tried anything from quarterly before the serum but i'm really really loving it and i'm really really glad i finally have it in my skincare routine and yeah i just find it really really good I'm, i do tend to keep it quite simple and minimal with my skincare routine so having like one like sort of hero product that i invest in i don't mind um and also like i say with me getting a little bit older and starting to show more signs of aging in my skin i'm happy to invest a little bit more in my skincare and yeah i just think it's a really really good all-around serum that is definitely helping with the overall complexion 
and look of my skin. Okay, and then moving on to makeup. I've only got two makeup favourites that I want to mention. The first one is this. You're going to have to excuse the packaging because it looks beat up. This is the Nude Sticks Tinted Cover Foundation. I basically have been trying to use up everything in my makeup collection. I feel like I've got a lot of stuff that I just neglect that was sitting in some drawers that I don't really use. So I'm just trying to get through everything in my collection. So this was one of the things I was trying to use up, to be honest. And then from reusing this, I hadn't used it for ages. I have fallen in love with this. I mean, as you can tell, like I've actually even cut open the bottle to scrape out every last drop of this. They do call it a tinted cover foundation. It's a very light to medium coverage, I would say. It definitely is buildable, but it's not like a heavy coverage foundation at all. But it just gives like the skin a really, really nice, natural overall appearance. Um, and I feel like it just really helps even out like my skin tone without adding too much covering coverage but it does add a little bit of coverage it can cover like little like acne scars I feel like it helps like reduce my redness and I really really like it I just really really like the formula I feel like it blends really really nicely I have the shade nude 2 which I'd say is a little bit warm for me this is probably more of a summer shade but I just really really like it I think it works really really nicely I do tend to gravitate towards a more of a tinted moisturizer sort of cc cream sort of base rather than a foundation for every day and i just feel like this is a really really good option i feel like nude sticks do a good shade range in this foundation and i just really really like it it feels really nice on the skin it wears nicely it definitely doesn't wear all day on my skin just because i do have more oily skin but if i do powder it lasts a good amount of time but i just really really like the overall look and appearance this gives to my skin it just makes it look quite healthy i will say i did have quite a lot of problems with this packaging for ages i couldn't get anything out the pump so I thought it was finished but when I squeezed it it would come out of this gap here like and I used it for a good month and a half like squeezing it with it coming out this little gap here so it was quite messy to use I couldn't really travel with it because as you can see it's like got foundation all over it kind of giving it a bit of a clean but yeah I really really like it um like I said I was just like using it to use it up but I've actually really fallen in love with it it's definitely been my go-to base recently i do have like quite a few other base products to use up in my collection so i think i'll wait to use those up before i do purchase a new one but i do really, really like it and i feel like it is a good option if you want something it's still going to give you a bit of coverage but nothing too heavy or cakey on the skin so yeah we really love this and then the other makeup product that i wanted to mention is the road peptide lip tint in the shade ribbon i am a sucker for a tinted lip balming product but this is just the one i gravitate most towards and i really really love it first of all i will say i absolutely love the color of this it's a very like light, light baby pink i am wearing it right now so yeah i love the color of this it's a really good color match if you wear something like the charlotte tilbury pillow talk original lip liner i feel like it pairs really nicely with that i do tend to gravitate more towards like a pinky nude and yeah it just adds a really nice like sheen and gloss to the lips as you can see and yeah i really, really like the overall finish it is moisturizing it's not like the most moisturizing tinted lip balm that i own it does add some moisture and like when my lips have been a bit drier in the winter this just does give a nice glossy appearance to them and i really, really like it i will say with the packaging i love the applicator like i love how you apply it with that but i do will say it gets messy like i don't know if you can see that but then i do really like like the shape of the applicator and i love like the shape of the lip balm like i feel like she just knows how to market these really really well i'm kind of suckered into wanting one of those phone cases i'm not gonna buy one but I kind of do want one of those phone cases with the lip holder in them. But yeah, I really, really like this. I am tempted to look into picking up the other shades. Um, I know they're quite difficult to get hold of. Um, and you can only buy them on the Road website in the UK anyway. I'm not sure if they're in store in America or anything. But I know in the UK you can only buy them on the website. I will say the website's pretty easy to use, I find. Like, I got that on there like three minutes after they launched initially. And managed to pick this up. And I think they're about £16. But the shipping was fine. Like, I didn't get customs or anything. So yeah, their shipping is pretty good. Like, it is £16 for this tube, I will say. But I do really, really like it. And I do, like, gravitate to this all the time. I'm not really sure if I've just been suckered into the hype. But I do really like it. I do think it gives a nice gloss and sheen to the lips. And I do really, really like the color ribbon in particular and i think it's cute like it's just like a little baby pink like i do think it is cute packaging i mean i know packaging is not everything but it is cute yeah okay and then moving on to some fashion favorites all the fashion favorites that i'm going to mention are accessories i had to mention my loafers from stradivarius these as you can probably see are like in a burgundy brownie shade and i absolutely love them i picked them up in january and i've just been wearing them loads i feel like they go with a lot i feel like they add like a nice pop of color to an outfit 
but are still like not such a bright color that they don't go with a lot. I feel like they still go with a lot of my outfit. I wear them like daytime and I've worn them like in an evening for like a dinner and I just really really love them. I am still in the process of breaking them in. I do have like those silicone little shields that I've been wearing with them um, and that is helping them break in because they would quite stiff especially like around here where this like metal bit is they were quite stiff but they are loosening up so they are pretty comfortable but like I say I have been wearing them with like socks and like heel guards every time I wear them I particularly love them with these socks these socks I just literally picked up in Primark but I just love the combination together I think it's just like a really cool funky pattern just having that little bit of sock pop out and yeah I just really love them I can see myself getting a lot of wear out of them I'm just really gravitating towards a pair of loafers it's just nice to have something in my wardrobe that's not necessarily a trainer but not a boot I've just been gravitating towards loafers recently and I really really love these ones and yeah because they are from Stradivarius um they were pretty affordable dropping them i feel like they're gonna go for all seasons i feel like i can see myself wearing these in spring with like trousers and jeans and stuff like i have been for the winter but then also in summer i feel like they could look cute with some skirts and dresses so yeah really really love them i will try leave them linked down below i'm not sure if they're still available i have seen them actually on asos as well so i will try leave them linked and then the other accessories is this cap i've owned this for years and i never ever wore it and i was on the hunt for a navy cap and then i found this in the back of my wardrobe and i've been wearing this all the time i went through a big phase of just like adding it to every single outfit I'm, i just really really love it it's just says new ny new york city it is from h&m initially but like i say i've had this for years i have been loving wearing navy recently i feel like it just fits really nicely into my wardrobe and i feel like a navy cap is just working really nicely in my wardrobe and i just love it especially for like my hair's not playing ball or i've got greasy hair or it's raining or even when it's sunny i just love this hat you've probably seen me wear it a lot i just love it i feel like it goes with so much and it just adds like kind of a cool vibe i just love a cap i am now on the hunt for like a washed red cap i want the one from adenola but it's currently out of stock so we shall see but yeah i just love this hat okay and then the last couple of favorites are all tv and music favorite so the first thing is a tv show which will come no as no surprise if you watch one of my previous vlogs because i raved about this a lot in that vlog and that is true detective me and alex watched season one and two a while ago love them both and then we hadn't watched season three so we recently got now tv subscription and we watched season three and season three was brilliant really really good season i just really love the formatting of true detective if you didn't know like they have there's four seasons but they're all different stories and they don't really interlink so they're each their own separate story which i just really really like because it just means the whole story is told in like eight episodes and with most of them they have like two different timelines so in season three it's based around a man and he was a detective and he was investigating the disappearance of these two children and then the case remained unresolved and now he is older and he has like i think he's got like early alzheimer's or dementia or something i'm not entirely sure but he's kind of got forgetful memory but he's still going back to the case and trying to solve it and it kind of goes back and forth between the past and the present and it's just a really really interesting storyline and then there's obviously things going on with him he had a wife who he met through like in the initial past when he was initially investigating this case and she actually ended up writing a book about the crime and it just goes back and forth between the pa past and the present and it just kind of tells it's obviously a murder mystery sort of thing you're kind of trying to figure out what happened to these children um but then also like you are following this character and you're like connecting with the character and i just find it really really well done i feel like all three seasons are very very well done i know season two isn't very highly rated but i really love season two and then recently they just had the fourth season out so we did watch season four and we both really liked season four i don't feel like it was as good as the other three seasons but i still really really enjoyed it it wasn't bad by any means it was still a good standalone show in itself that was with jodie foster and that was kind of a a little bit of a different format because there wasn't as much in the past i didn't think in this season as there has been in the first three seasons but there was the a woman who was murdered and they were investigating that and that was it remained unsolved and then the current day something happens to these scientists and then it's kind of like they kind of connect to that crime from the past and it's they're all trying to figure out what happened there's a little bit of a spiritual supernatural kind of underlying arc to see in season four which i quite actually enjoyed and um, it added another level and then i was actually quite satisfied with the ending with how it ended and um, that one was actually only six episodes season four but i did really, really enjoy it and also it's set in i think it's alaska and it's set in this time when 
they basically have no sunlight so the entire thing is quite dark which is kind of trippy because then you don't know what time of day it is which is kind of weird so did really enjoy it i think they've just announced they're going to do a season five and i will watch that also because i just really really love them and then switching gears the other tv show that i want to mention that we watched was gavin and stacy which is completely different to true detective um i'd never watched gavin and stacy and we just needed something like lighthearted and easy to watch with dinner we just wanted something quick because they're in like half an hour episodes so we watched it so if you don't know the story of gavin and stacy it is about gavin and stacy gavin lives in essex stacy lives in wales they meet through work and then they start long distance dating and eventually get married and it just kind of tells the story between Gavin and his f little family in Essex and then Daisy and her family in Essex and like the combination of the two families. I really really enjoyed it like to be honest with you not a lot happens like it's a very simple story but I think that's why I quite like it because it's quite realistic. I mean the stuff with Sm Smithy and Nessa is a bit more tv fied but the, like other bits that happen throughout the show like they're just very normal things that like would happen and it was just a really really easy watch watch to be honest with you it's kind of funny because to me like gavin and stacy are like, kind of like who's like the least interesting characters is that controversial i'm sorry um i still did really like them as characters but they've not got a lot of drama going on in their relationship the drama's kind of around them but then it's just a really easy normal family to watch um it is really really funny Bryn is my personal favorite i love Bryn and i love pam and i actually do really, really love smithy i'm not really sure on james gordon in like real life but i did really like the character smithy i think it's written by him and the woman who plays ness ruth jones that's her name we did really enjoy it i thought it was really really good i can understand the hype i don't know why it's taken me so many years to watch it i did really really enjoy it it's really good fun and yeah it's just a nice light-hearted easy watch to watch with our dinner so yeah and he's hoping they're doing a christmas special again this year i don't know if they are i know there's rumors i don't know it's just a nice light hard easy funny watch um that i really, really enjoyed and then finally quickly moving on to music favorites the first music favorite i'm pretty sure i mentioned in my previous favorites back in july but i'm still loving them um and that is bleachers i don't know why i didn't listen to them for so long but i'm really really loving them they've got a new album coming out in march next week i'm very excited and they've released a few songs from the album modern girl tiny moves alma mater and me before you and i really love all four of them tiny moves especially like i'm obsessed with that song it kind of just plays on repeat in my head and on my spotify i just love it it's got, they've almost kind of got like a retro sound to them i don't know if that makes sense but i just really really enjoy it i don't always love jack antonoff's productions on the taylor swift albums but i feel like all the productions work really well for the kind of songs that it does with bleachers yeah um i'm really really enjoying their music and then the other music favorite is lissy mcalpine i'm not really sure why i've never really listened to her discography i'd heard like a couple of odd songs and obviously she had that ceiling song that was like viral on tiktok but i've been listening to quite a lot of her songs recently i really love oh god i'm gonna have to find all the names of them apple pie nothing sad and stuff um, and she has actually just come out with a new song called Older because she's got an album coming out in April. Got a good run up of new music coming out because we've got a Bleachers album in March and then in April I've, we've got a Lizzie McAlpine album, a Maggie Rogers al album and the Torture Poets Department from Taylor Swift which I'm very intrigued. So yeah, but yeah, I'm really, really loving her music. Uh, she's got a lovely voice. I love the way she writes. I love her writing and yeah. Oh, and Pancakes for Dinner. I also really love Pancakes for Dinner. That's another one of her songs that I really enjoy. But yeah, I just think she's got a really lovely voice. She writes really lovely songs. Oh, and I also really love Orange Show Speedway. That's another one. So I'm just naming Lizzie McAlpine songs now at you. But yeah, I really, really enjoy her. And I'm kind of trying to branch out a little bit with my artists. I feel like I've been listening to quite a few new, well, artists that are new to me recently. Um, I've also been listening to a lot of Noah Khan. I've kind of been sleeping on stick season and then the, all the collaborations started coming out and I really love all his co collaborations because he did one with Lizzie McAlpine. I'm obsessed with his collaboration with Sam Fender, that homesick song. I love that song. I also really like the one that he did with, I think it's Casey Musgraves. And he also did one with Gregory Allen and Scoff that I really like. But yeah, I'm really, really loving that sort of music at the moment. I'm trying to venture out, listen to a few new artists because I feel like I listen to the same things on repeat. And I kind of need to venture out a little bit. But yes, um, that's everything I've been listening to recently. I will try leave like, my Spotify link down below. Yeah, I've got a playlist called Jan slash Feb that is kind of my current hyperfix 
but I'm also really loving these new day lists that Spotify are doing. I feel like they're really, really good for like introducing me to new music, like mixing songs that I'm familiar with and songs that I might like, which a lot of them I do. And I do find their titles hilarious. All mine are like really like moody things. But yeah, that is probably enough rambling for this video. I'll try to leave everything that I mentioned in this video linked down below if you want to check anything out or if you missed anything. But yeah, if you did enjoy this video and would like to see other favourites videos from me, do give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. I don't think, like I say, I'll have enough stuff to do one every month but I feel like at the end of every season maybe it would be pretty good basically I just won't leave the next one another eight months <laughs> next time but yeah i still really like favorites videos i feel like they're very old school sort of youtube video but i really, really like that i love like i love that the old school youtube videos are kind of having a revamp like i know people doing what's in my bags on tiktok was like trending recently and i really really love that like i just love that like old school content is coming back um but yes if you have any favorites that you want to share with me that you think i might like any recommendations based on these things that i've mentioned i'd love to hear about them in the comments below and if you're new to my channel i'd love it if you could subscribe and i will see you all next week in a brand new video goodbye